Hello y'all, it's Axius DS with Divin Shield Entertainment, bringing y'all a Lucky Wheel token spin event. Um, in order to get the barrel for the new Lord Phoenix skin, um, I am going to complain a little bit at the start of this video because I'm not happy with the changes that they've made with the Lucky Wheel. Um, unfortunately, with the, well, actually, the good thing about the old Lucky Wheel is there was multiple different things in it, like the different skins, um, the legendary skin, and then some other premium skins, stuff that was only in the wheel, and you had more options for that. Uh, they changed it to where, okay, now there's a barrel and there's a bead, and it's like, oh, cool, if you get a barrel, you can just go over to the secret shop and just pick and buy whichever one that you wanted. That sounds nice, or that sounds like that might be a better item, but my big, biggest complaint about this right now is a lot of the stuff that you get in here now is lots of skin shard items, some gems, points, gold, premium skin exchange card. Well, they unfortunately will not let you use premium skin exchange cards on new premium skins. So... If you get a premium skin exchange card and you have the majority of the skins for your heroes, then it's a useless item to you unless you decide to wait like a month in order to or more to be able to leverage your premium skin exchange card on the new skin that came out. So more than likely somebody that has a lot of skins is going to just say screw it. I guess I'm going to buy the skin, and my skin ch uh, exchange card is a waste. Um, unfortunately, I'd have to say the same thing is true of the skin shards, because the last several heroes that they've released, instead of allowing them to be purchased immediately in the skin shard, example here, Lady Peacock, um, I'm sitting on top of 196 shards, but she's still not available in the store. And so in order to review her, I had to buy the skin right away rather than use the skin shards. Um, so that is also highly annoying. I'm, I'm not really happy with them on that. And then also points. You get a lot of points doing Lucky Wheel. Well, if you do all of the events, you can see here I'm sitting on top of 15,705k. So over 15 million points. And there's not a freaking thing to do with them. So that has me kind of really peeved because you ought to be able to do something if you've got a, just a freaking large quantity of points. I should be able to use like 5 million points to buy a barrel or something. Um, so that way it's like, aha, I've got all these points here. I'm going to use them for something constructed. Just buy a barrel, buy a bead, done because of how much has already been put in to the game. So right now I'm not really happy with what they're doing with things for folks that keep everything because I've already spent a freaking ton on this and here's just another Lucky Wheel event where I'm probably going to have to spin this thing a freaking lo uh, large many of times in order to get this stupid barrel. So that way I can go ahead and show off the Lord Phoenix skin who needs just a stupid barrel. I'd much rather have had the Pandora's event because the Pandora's events tend to be cheaper than the Lucky Wheel, which the Lucky Wheel is not as bad when you're missing a lot and you have a lot of stuff you need. But when you're on the side that has pretty much everything, it just makes it a lot freaking more expensive to get because of the fact you only need the stupid barrel. But anyways, let's get into this. I have 92 tokens. Um, I bought all the packs for the tokens to try to get as many as cheap as possible. I start with 10,135 tokens. I'm down to 5,840 tokens. Um, I'm certainly hoping that I will get the barrel within the draw attempts, but my Lucky Wheel events always cost me a freaking fortune, so I'm kind of not happy about that. But anyways, we're going to get into this. Let's start drawing and see what happens. Come on, barrel. Come on. Okay. Spin again. Oh my goodness. Is it not going to let me skip through faster? 
Spin again. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's not letting me... It, it used to be you could kind of just click again and it would auto, like, spin it faster. But it looks like it's not going to let me... Oh, 69,999 points. So wonderful when you don't need any freaking points. Oh my goodness, this is going to be... It's going to take a while here, I think. Because it only lets you do one... One draw card at a time, rather than multiple draw cards at a time. Oh, that stinks. Okay, this video might end up being a while because of the fact that I'm, I've got 92 of these cards to use and I can only do one at a time. And it won't let me speed up the spin. Come on. Faster. Y'all can't see me just frantically tapping in random places on the screen. As that used to allow you to just be able to quick force this. Which I had to do on some of the old videos because I had to spin so many times. The video became like extraordinarily long trying to show doing the event. Come on, barrel. I feel like this is the most expensive waste of an event. Well, waste of resources in an event when when you already have practically everything. I've been much happier when they just give us a new like epic skin like once a week and it just costs like 10 or 12 um 100 points because I'm like, okay, 10 bucks. 10 bucks isn't horrible. I can do $10 once a week to go ahead and show off. When they then go ahead and do this garbage here where then it's like, great, I'm going to spend 50 75 or or $100 for one stupid skin to show it off. That really, really kind of is sucky, to put it nicely. And some people who think, oh, I'm super rich. I'm not super rich. This is just my hobby and... You know, I've got like a hundred some videos showing off different skins in this game for y'all. And I don't want to be like, screw it. It's really expensive to go ahead and not keep showing you guys this stuff. So I like to do it so that way folks can see the skins, see the animations and things like that. And know, okay, how expensive will this event be? But unfortunately, they then do something like this here then that's like great. I'm going to spend, like I said, 50 75 100 dollars just to go ahead and get one skin, and that's it. All the benefit from it. Because I think I've been doing this channel for y'all for close to a year now. I think in, I don't know, maybe not quite, maybe like nine months or so. I think I started in August doing a Heroes Evolved event and animation skin content. And unfortunately, it's not like I've got like, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers where I could get some of the money back in uh, advertisements and stuff that run on the channel, so... Before going ahead and talking about how I'm some rich bastard and yelling at me or something. <laughs> Take into effect, you know, this does cost me money to go ahead and make this content. So, I could very well just be spending this on AAA titles, which in the grand scheme of things would probably be a better thing to do. But, if I did that, you nobody would be looking at this video here because this is something that there isn't a lot of out there in order for options for you to watch, so...
And I am um, apologize for some folks that may be disappointed that we haven't had as much content on. These weeks has been pretty much just the new skins and stuff as they've come out and the events. Uh, that's primarily because um, since Heroes Evolved took away Kevion's um, Palladium ranking because he was gone for six days and then he got banned because in trying to get back up well he got temporarily kicked out of ranked games temporarily because folks said he was I don't know I stupid stuff they said he was feeding and he's a palladium ranked player and so he they were going to have to have him farm normal games to get back in to be able to rank up to do palladium or get back his palladium title and he was like screw it he's like i'm gonna mess around with something else until the end of the season so he's uh he's been playing arena of valor and i've been playing arena of valor with him so um he's not done any videos yet on there because he's trying to get more familiar with the different heroes uh before he starts showing stuff off Which, I have to say, Arena of Valor is definitely, um, it's different. It's got some neat aspects about it. There's certain things I like. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. I don't like it doesn't have Fog of War. I don't like it doesn't have Mana Burn. I don't like it doesn't have Dodge. I don't like that, um, uh, several other mechanics. I don't like it doesn't have a VIP. I don't like it doesn't give away... Monthly free skins. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have a shard system where you can earn skins for free. Uh, and pretty much the majority of the content potentially for free. Um, but its skin prices are... Woo! I got a premium skin exchange card that I'll probably never ever get to use now. Because the fact that they... Don't let you use premium skin exchange cards on new premium skins. Uh, and I go ahead and show off all the skins right away. Therefore, I just have to pay the money for them. But anyways, I don't like Arena of Valor. Doesn't have... Uh, shoot, what was it? Something... Um, well, I don't matter. Don't matter too much. But it's, there's a bunch of things that I don't like that they don't have and uh gameplay is relatively decent but i like a lot of the mechanics i don't know oh, i don't like that they don't have any item activatables that's a that's a big item um and i don't like that the only change or effects is on like your arcana which gives you stat changes some of the stat changes are nice but i like that heroes evolved has the little center thing, I forget what it's called, that has a bigger impact. Like, oh, you use the skill and now you get a speed buff for 15, or a 15%, you know, like, or movement speed increase for the next, you know, three seconds or decrease your teleport time. Oh, I don't like our Arena Valor, how its teleport works. It's a recall that you can use whenever back to base, like in Mobile Legends. I like much better the Heroes Evolved, where it's a, uh, everybody has it and it can be used uh like every certain amount of time in order to go to any tower you know forward or back so it has more use uses than just a teleport back to base so there's definitely in between the two games i like heroes evolved much better arena valor though does have some interesting heroes uh that heroes evolved doesn't have and it has some oh shoot Okay, well, we've done it. We've used all the tokens. Now it's time to using points. That's going to freaking cost me a garbage amount, I'm sure. I'm going to just double check here, make sure I'm not sitting on top of a barrel that I was completely ignoring. Shard, no, secret shop. Yeah, no barrel. Let's get back to Lucky Wheel. Okay, folks, so... I've gone ahead and spent over 92 lucky point or uh, 
tokens, tickets, for spins. So now we'll do times fives. Oh yeah, see if you're doing the times five, you can do it real fast. Oh my goodness. I freaking hate doing Lucky Wheel. I almost said, screw it, I'm not doing this video. But then folks wouldn't be happy because they wouldn't get to be able to see the peacock skin. All of these shards that would have been worth something if I could actually use them on the skins coming out. But unfortunately, the shards don't do jack for me. Oh my goodness, I freaking hate Lucky Wheel. Okay, guys, give me a moment. Let's see here. We've just spent a freaking ton in uh, points. Start with 10,135, down to 260, and still no freaking barrel. I'm going to pause the video. I bought a card just in case this was going to happen, and sure enough, it happened. So 197 lucky points, and I'm still not lucky. So I'll be right back after recharging points. Okay, guys, yay, I'm back, and <laughs> another 14,000 points. Um, okay, so let's do times fives and see where we're at on this. There should be, like, a VIP 10, and once you hit the stupid thing, you should unlock, like, all content for life, because I'd be freaking at that joker. Heroes Evolved right now, I hate you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yay, a freaking barrel. Okay, we were not spinning again. So let's see here. We had... Just a moment ago, 14,200. And, uh... <clears throat> let's see here. If we had 40 more right now, we'd be at 11,000, which would mean we'd be at 1,240. No, I'm sorry. We'd be 11,000, which would mean 3,200. So we just spent another 3,240 on top of 10,135. So that's 13,375. Yeah, I spent, I've spent about... 13,375 um, tokens in order to get the stupid barrel. 13,375 tokens. Now, all in all, that wouldn't be horrible if I needed the other stuff. If I needed points, if I needed skin shards, if I needed Premier skin exchange cards, if I needed hero shards, etc. That it would have been really expensive. But there would have been a lot of stuff that you got in addition. But unfortunately, now I have 818 hero shards, 446 skin shards, and not a freaking thing I can do with them. Let alone, I'm sitting on top of 20,145k points. 20 million. What the freak am I going to do with 20 million points? They need to let you buy freaking barrels and beads with points. And then I'll be happier because I can actually have something to do with them. And when they do like, oh, guess what, guys? We have a, le uh, a new legendary skin that's in the lucky wheel. It'd be like, cool, I can just buy the barrel. Or for, you know, folks that don't want to do lucky wheel, they can save up points to be able to get the legendary skin um, after a long period of time. I don't know. I'm feeling like the lucky wheel is freaking rigged. And right now, I'm not happy with Heroes Evolved, and I'm really angry about that. Oh, did you know that Exius DS just won Mikyo in the Lucky Wheel? Woo! I, I don't know how, but uh, apparently I did. Oh, yeah, 
Actually, just one. Mikio times one from Lucky Wheel. Uh, I guess that's one of the 20 skin shard things that I won. Well, anyways, I'm going to be quick doing a video for the skin that I just unlocked. So, be back momentarily to check it out. I hope you liked the video and my ranting um, about how much I hate Lucky Wheel. Um, but... Now you all know, it can be freaking expensive if you haven't checked out any of my other Lucky Wheel videos. Um, like I said, as a reminder, 13,375 tokens for one barrel. That's it. So, okay, y'all have a good one. Happy gaming. Bye.